know I just need to pray for Marcia because you can see that Marcia tried to make enemies. No, Marcia, I'm here to tell you tonight, your heart is very black. You are a very bitter person. This is how it started. You know, it has been going around social media. The devil is a liar, you know, that, um, that uh my cancer has come back and um and and it's i have throat cancer now i want to make it clear to everyone it is not true it is absolutely not true the devil is a liar you understand and you guys should know even better because every three months when i go down to princess margaret hospital i i take you guys along with me i tell you guys what happened when the result is back i would normally share with you all you know the last result two weeks ago when i went it was it came back and i told you guys that um and you guys know for forever 2017 you know i'm a i'm a three time survivor the last one was a lung cancer that came in 2017 i did i did the surgery there were two nodules and so um when they went in they could only find one and so they cut that one out now in the last two years and I've been, you know, when I went back, they saw that the one that they couldn't find starting to grow. And then with it, it have a tiny little one with it as well. So they now put me, take me from a six months checkup back to a three months checkup. So every three months, I have to tell you, uh, I told you guys what's happening and so forth. You understand? So the last two weeks that I went, it was said that over the past four months one of the nodules has grown in one centimeter it was always sitting at two centimeter and it has grown one centimeter now for me i don't say i don't i don't even tell people i'm a i'm a survivor i'm a survivor and when it comes to things like that doctor may see as a concern i leave it to god and i let god have his way i do not have cancer it did not come back i do definitely in the name of jesus have no throat cancer you know uh, marcia campbell is going around telling people and you know it is it is it is really wicked what a person can do and how far a person will go you know and i'm here to tell marcia tonight what she's doing it is absolutely wrong when you want to wish you know um taking it back um maybe last year i could have been the year before you know when she was so angry and she don't know what she's angry about but she's angry at me and um she says that she wished the cancer would come back and come back worse than ever and didn't I tell you, say, the cancer was going to come back? Didn't I tell you it was going to come back? All right. I pray for her. You know, I don't pray for me that, oh, don't worry, I won't be done. No, I pray for her because that's what she needs. She needs prayer. People, you guys need to pray for Marcia. Marcia is not well. And when I tell you guys that mental illness is real, you see it manifesting itself in Marcia Campbell. Okay? So I'll go and I'm telling, I'll tell you guys, somebody call Marcia because we need to clear this up and she knows so she can know exactly what transpired and I'll tell you guys exactly what happened. Okay? So I am not one to always come out and, and defend things or go back and forth with anyone. You know, I have my brand to protect and I have myself to, to, to uphold my standard and my, 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 how I am in the, in this community and uh, wherever my community may be. I don't have the time to be going back and forth and back and forth with anyone over anything. Okay. So believe, kill and believe, cure. And if somebody wants to believe something, sometimes I allow them to do that. But when it comes to illness, Something as cancer, 
You know, illness, uh, first of all, it's not something that one purchase. You didn't call it upon yourself. It happened. These are things that happen. And for those who can sit back and, 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 and wish upon somebody, or say you did wish it on the person, and a person got sick to what you said you wish would happen to the person, you're then going to come out and you're going to rub salt into, what do you call it, into sore or whatever the th case may be. I meant, oh, I told, I did say, I did say, I did. No, that's not the way to do it. That's evil. No, Marcy, I'm here to tell you tonight, your heart is very black. It is very black. You are a very bitter person. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is how it started. Marcia and, you know, Marcia and I go back from maybe, 20, yeah, 2014. And how I, and Marcia would always be on her life. Sometimes even 10, 5 people per night would be on Marcia's life, you know? And, I, you know, the way she would deal with the people and, and, uh, and, and so forth. Yes, mental illness is very dangerous. The way she would deal and talk to people. And so I now develop that um, kind of um, converse, um, relationship rather with her where, I, you know, we, we would talk and, you know, we talk about the way she, she would respond to people or she should not respond to people, the swearing and so forth. And, you know, we... I become more like an advisor to her. That's the kind of basic relationship that we have. She know my, 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 my status, you know, and everything like that. So, you know, I would encourage her. I would, I, I would talk to her in, 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 in that manner. And that is all the relationship we have over the years. And, you know, me commenting maybe on her live or I might have, um, uh, uh, calling and prayed a couple of times on her live and so forth. You know, so um, it was back in 2019, probably. I There's this woman I saw. She was doing so well in the community. So um, she, she um, this young woman was doing so well in the community. I don't know who she was. I know she was behind a camera building houses and so forth. And I know I've, um, I've been watching and I seen, you know, Marcia been watching her as well. So I thought I want to honor this woman for what she's doing. And I, um, I've, I, I tried, I, I, I've tried several ways to, you know, to, to contact her, couldn't find any way. And then I asked Marcia about her. That is Donna go. And I asked Marcia to find her for me because, you know, so Marcia got me the number and, you know, when I told her, you know, that I want to honor her and I would like to give her the humanitarian award, you know, Marcia said, how is it you're going to give her a humanitarian award when me die for so long? I was here for so long, all these years, go to Jamaica and, 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 and walk in the sun for women and this and all, then, you know, I fight against violence and so forth. You know, all right. I thought it was, you know, it's true. And, you know, I've, I've seen she, she'd been doing all that as well, you know, but then she would, um, the behavior, it just wasn't there in spite of what. So sometimes you'll be doing some things, you know, and you you or you say some things and because of what you say or do, just the, it ruins everything. You understand? So anyway, moving forward, I decided, I said, okay, I'm going to give you the, the uh, philanthropist award because she's using her own money to do all of this in spite of like myself you know you ask for a donation and you don't get it but you know I want to commit to that what I want to do and so sometime I would use my own money to fund the project and I don't want anyone to bash her tonight you know we want to keep it clean if in here tonight and if anything we're going to do is to pray for her you understand? And and I'd probably go down into a little bit of what she might be going through. So um 
she i offered a philanthropist a watch she said no i don't want that i want what donna is getting and that is the humanitarian award so i said no but i i don't that's already going to somebody she said well it's your thing you can create too and i said i suppose i can and of course in the past i have done that so maybe marcia is aware of that that i i can do that so anyway i created the two awards humanitarian awards and i guess it just just still didn't sit right with her and the following year i come back and i ask donna she was nominated again and um this time it wasn't me who um who nominated her but some people who want you know who have um write in and so forth about her and i give it to her i nom I, I honor her again plus this time i ask her to to host the show and oh marcia was just livid why you, you know i can do better job oh you're gonna ask you, you know me a comedian and i've been on stage and i've been doing this and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna let she she can't do this and she she she, she don't the, the education and the, and the ghetto this and you understand and i like i said i've always given people chances even second and third and fourth chances because that's the person that i am you understand and he, and so when somebody is gonna come to me and tell me that Donna Bo is ghetto and she don't have any education I'm gonna give her that opportunity because so, all of us started someplace at one time or the other right and so I give her that opportunity and I believe she deserved that opportunity and, I, and so I guess it didn't sit right with her anyways i guess oh all those years she she keep going and uh, maybe she, you know she she take it out and done it because she really couldn't argue with me so i guess she go after donna and try a matter of fact when she i even go back when she found when she found donna for me and she know what i was going to do the first thing she did before donna come to jamaica if you guys go back to the tracking of it is to offer donna stay at some hotel or what have you so you know marcia i wanted to show you this thing is not a competition you know you just have to be yourself and don't turn everything into competition right and so i guess the years has passed and um so she now started in on um uh she started having problems with um dr dr love and of course, again, I've been watching Dr. Love even long before Marcy had done it. I know, you know, you understand, you know, and so Dr. Love one day was arguing, um, I guess, talking about her or to her. And he says, oh, he's going to call Amari and all them for come cuss her out. So I type in the, in the comment, I said, Dr. Love. It is not that serious. So Marcy, if you're here, you listen clearly what I said, because I don't know what you think you said or what, what you think I said or what you th or people tell you I said. I said, Dr. Love, it is not that serious for you to call out the big gun. In defense of Marcy, because that, you know, it is not that serious. So why are you going to be calling, meaning why are you going to be calling all these people, you know, to come and, 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 and curse her for you or what have you. And, and I know at the same time, Dr. Love was joking because he didn't mean nothing by that. He was just talking. And right behind that, I said, I said, to, 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 to show good faith, why won't you um, purchase a table for some that I could donate to some woman? And, you know, and, oh, I guess that even make it worse that she would flip and somebody who disrespected woman and, and so forth. Why would you be telling, you know, inviting them to your show and, and you're going to let them give money and, and so forth. And, you know, she said that I go against her and so forth because I, I whatever, the comment that was made, she speaks differently from what she thought I said. So she went on her live and she broke up the trophy 
that I give to her, I thought it was such a disrespect. And she, she degraded the award show um, the internet, the, the organization, she, she thought it was, it was a nonsense. It was a nonsense when she wanted it or when she wanted to host. It was a nonsense show. But at that point in time, it was a nonsense show. It was a poppy show. And the whole internet went off and, you know, have all the negative things to say. Now, I, I don't know what really transpired. I guess it was from that, I guess. I'm not sure where it came that she would wish um, illness on me or that cancer should come back and come back worse. You know? I leave her to God and that's what I continue to do. Just like, so you guys, you, you, you all just need to pray for Marcia. Because you can see that Marcia tried to make enemies. And, and, and so uh, Marcia and I have no problem at all. As I said, this thing is not even about Dr. Love. But the root cause of it is from me honoring Donna Go before she or, or even putting Donna on the IWAA stage before she. And that's the real root cause that Marcia would go after me. But now to come out and say that uh, uh, cancer has come back. I didn't hear all of what was said. But to, to talk about cancer come back and I have throat cancer. And I told you so. Oh, here's daddy. Here's daddy. I think he wants to sleep or something. There we go. I don't know if he's tired. Your hands are cold. I just wipe him down. Excuse me, guys. I just wash him down. I'm doing my life. He's probably bored because I'm not paying attention to him. <laughs> well, I'll pay attention to him. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Marcia. You know, I've seen, um, when I used to talk with you, speak to you and stuff like that, I've seen where sometimes you do listen to me and, you know, you, you would say, you know, you, the things that I would tell you not to do and then you'd come out on your life and sometimes you don't do it, but then, then there's a next time you would flip. And I see there are times that people provoke you to do these things, you know, but over the years being consumed by by someone and you know always going after someone or you try to see the bad in that um thank you diane to see the bad or the worst in that person for and you don't even know the reason why yourself well i, I can I, what i can say that you may be against this person because they did not embrace you in the way that you wanted to be embraced you understand and you know you purchase a hotel room for that our vacation staycation for that person and you figure that it would have you know it would have it would have make that relationship stronger or or, or, or or and you did not get that reception you understand and so it has built up something inside of you but marcia you allowed that that little thing that just little thing to consume you you understand you make that consume you and over the years you have gotten bitter and bitter and bitter and bitter and bitter until you are no longer yourself i know me telling you that um but you see um um kareen um yes maybe so but there's when it like she's talking about illness and somebody i've heard people speak against me they may talk about the and it's mostly about the award show so let's keep it real here it is mostly about the the, the, the award show but when somebody is going to wish death and illness upon you it is wrong it is wrong on all level Karine. So let's keep it real about when somebody may say, okay, your show is a puppy show this and, and, and princess this. And, but 
when it comes to sickness or death. Come on now. It is so wrong. You have children. You have you have grandchildren. You have maybe your parents and you have other family members, brothers, sisters. You have yourself. How are you going to be wishing them? You hear them said, when you dig hole, dig two. You understand? Because you may be wishing what you're wishing on me. You might be getting it worse than me get it. You understand? So it is just not the same at all. But as I was saying, Marcia, it this has passed um mental health you know today i i i learn of a thing called um i um peter wait peter pan the peter pan syndrome i don't know if you guys ever heard of the peter pan syndrome but um Um, some of the um the Peter Pan syndrome and maybe um you know you look at Marcia and you know it it, it could be something that um even beyond the Donna Donna Go thing, you understand? It this could have been a childhood thing. Maybe not so she'll go come tomorrow and tell me which part I may drop out and which part now go drop out, but that's okay. But at least you're going to hear someone who's going to talk to you instead of cursing at you. Because, I, you know, I am not that person. So if anyone out here thinks that I'm cursing her, no, I am not. I am having a conversation with Marcia. As, so she's hoping in hope that she will see herself. And she will change her ways and see that what she is doing to people. And it's not just me, Kareen. It is not just me. It is everyone. If you look around Marcia, everyone is going at her. People are burying her. People are, are you know, come on now. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. So the P here, here are some of the symptoms of a P of a um Peter Pan syndrome. And first of all, um, let me see if I a Peter Pan um Peter Pan syndrome is a psychological term for people who find it difficult to grow up. And this is how I see Marcia sometime when she speaks. Marcia, you have this childlike mind. You have the mind of not even a six-year-old because a six-year-old um, comprehend more and speak with, 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 with some sort of understanding. But it is, it's, it's so much lower than that. And, you know, you got to... Here are the symptoms. It's low motivation. Lack of interest in work. I'm not, I don't know about the work part because I have always known Marcia from, I know Marcia, you know, working as a nurse and nights and nights she's at her workplace. Trouble with commitment, being unreliable, but you pick and choose what you think fits you. Difficulty making decisions, emotional instability, lack of accountability and blaming others shortcomings with personal growth so you see you don't take the time to 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 grow up or to do something you know to lift yourself or to to, to elevate yourself instead you take the time to cut down and to tear down and sometimes you don't even know these people but you have the the worst things to say about them instead of you embrace them you you, you know you, you you can go and you um you see somebody doing well okay maybe you i don't know the know how but me can walk up and said miss mary Miss, you doing this and, you know, for so long, me, me, I'm out here and I tried and it just not worked. How you do it? Show me how. But instead, you would come 
It's called the uh, Peter Pan syndrome. Peter Pan. P-E-T-E-R-P-A-N syndrome. And instead you come and you curse them out and you tear them down. And I don't know. It's, it shows that a lack of a lack of love and you often talk about your family that the love but marcy it doesn't look like you 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 got that kind of love growing up it doesn't like you you know you you tend to be a person that 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 by love you understand me you know you 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 do things and you give things just to be loved and when you don't get that love and attention, you do things for attention. And this is what you're doing is for attention. Because there are times and all the swearing. And these, Marcy, let me tell you something what I see happening to you soon and very soon. And I pray to the God in heaven that it doesn't happen. Marcy, you need to change your way quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because if you, Marcia Campbell, continue in the fashion and in the way in which you are carrying yourself, and doing and, and stuff you're going to have a heart attack marcia yeah peter pan syndrome you're going to have a heart attack so all this symptom marcia maybe you and, and you have gone so far that you are now beside yourself you don't no longer know right from wrong you don't know the right things to say. You don't you are when to say it anymore. You understand? And 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 it doesn't it doesn't hurt, Marcia. It doesn't hurt to get help. Help is there for all of us. And it and 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 you getting help and talking to someone doesn't mean just like in the days when we used to talk, even though I am not a professional um counselor. But, you know, things like that, when we used to sit and have those little conversation and you would say, you know, you're right, you're right, you know, you're right. And I'll say, you never call me Miss Princess because then I never become Miss Princess till Donna. You understand? And you, 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 so you need now to have that kind, take yourself, you know, when I say, come on for um, social media. What I am saying, take a break, Marcia. You need to take a break. Take a break from all of this and, 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 and get the help you need. And you're going to see, Marcia, how, how, you know, how good you feel about yourself. You understand? You will feel so much better about yourself. I know. I know. And a lot of people don't know that all the talk you come out and you talk the way you're talking in public and the cursing and the swearing and how you it is not who you are when you get off of this you cry yourself to sleep at night you do you cry yourself to sleep at night because you just cannot be accepted by by the people that you want to be accepted by or by anyone for that matter of fact and it's not hard to take to turn it around, but you must change your ways, Marcia. You must change your ways. You understand? And when you, when, you know, I want to get back on this cancer thing, because sometimes, you know, you must take a, a, a sour lemon and you turn it around and you make lemonade. And tonight I want to say to you, Marcia, not just not just me but there's so many people out there maybe family members of yours and you know who who are who are going through some sort of cancer you understand some are going through kidney cancer all different heart all the you name it cancer is everywhere on your body you understand and you you when you see People, you must you 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 learn to be sim, sim, sympathetic towards these things. You understand? You need to, and, and you are a nurse, and you're in the medical field. Come on, Marcia, man. What kind of nurse are you now? What kind of nurse are you, Marcia? 
You can't do that. Say you're in the medical field and you have a license and a permit, man. And you and, and I'm pretty sure over the years you have worked with some cancer patients, people. Now, what if these people know you go to work tomorrow and they call you for a job and it's a cancer pair and they hear what you said on social media? What do you think going to happen? You think they're going to want to work with you to know that they must fight for them life? Hmm? And you're wishing death and, and sickness upon people? And you're a nurse, Marcia? Give it up, man. No, man. Please, give it up. Give it up. It don't make no sense. It makes no sense, Marcia. I may not tell you these things. May I tell you from the bottom of my heart with all the love of God in me. It, it, it is not right. And I want to apologize to all the persons out there who are going through cancer. And the persons who are helping somebody with cancer. Anyone who's touched by cancer. And because of that, you see... um. Sunday coming, I have a flyer that I put out. I have a flyer. And it's not that she doesn't have compassion, you know. It is because she has just lost, she has lost herself. Her hatred has consumed her. Marcia is like taken over by another spirit. And sometimes you, you, you know, you, 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 and you call these things up on yourself because the Bible, right? There's spirits out there. There's evilness out there. And when you can evoke these things on yourself, hmm? I want you guys to go back into some things and watch Marcia stuff them. Some stuff Marcia have done over the years. And you tell me if in some point in time Marcia have not evoked spirits upon herself into her life, into her home, into everything that she does. You look at Marcia and tell me, Marcia, take a good look into the mirror and tell me if you look like the Marcia that you know you to be. Sunday coming, June, June 2nd is Cancer Survivor Day. And I am a cancer survivor. I'm a three-time cancer survivor. And I give God thanks. And I will always give him thanks because I owe it all to him. Because who could it be but God? When, you, when, when, I, when I was diagnosed in 2014, and, and um, in 2014, the doctor, you know, said... Um, I wanted my mother, my mother has retired back to Jamaica. And so I wanted her to come up and, you know, for the surgery or, you know, the doctor told me I don't, and you know, it's the, the process of it to get my mom here probably was gonna take, you know, putting the money together and everything would have probably take about two weeks. And when they asked me how long and I told them, they said, you don't have two weeks. That's third stage cancer. You don't have two weeks. And when I tell you my story, that I'm the doctor, they send me home with um some pills. I, don't, I can't remember what the pills for was I in I don't remember. And um when I when I got home in a couple of days, I started like I don't know if it was hemorrhaging, and you know, if you guys are eating, please. You know, it was, I went to the bathroom and blood clots was just falling. So that is my, my, my kidney. It was so deteriorated because you see, this is something I have over the years. And I keep telling my story that people thought that I thought, you know, from back in the years, I had a car accident and I thought this, this was something, you know, um, a right driving from, from me having that, 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 um, that car, car accident. And so that would cause me having back pains and stuff like that. And person, people, if you're out there today and you're feeling any of these symptoms, you know, you're having back pain or you're having any sort of cramping, check it out, check it out. You're having headaches, unusual headaches. 
check it out because had I check it out, I, 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 as the doctor said, and, and mind you, you have people like Marcia who's always going because she take us with us to, to the doctor. I make it my point of duty every year to go for my physical. So I was doing physical and everything come back. I'm okay. But people, you, you all need to learn, learn from others and my story that when you go and do your physical, be specific about it. So ask your doctor, can you, can you, can you do a kidney check? Can you do a, a you know, let them do a, 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 um, the name, um, on point, I don't know what to say, check. So specific, you want them to, in doing that thing, you want to check. Check your kidney. Check my heart. Check my liver. You understand? Check the, my morals. Check my bones. Check, you know? Because when you go for physical, they might just do the the basic. They weigh you, they do your blood test, and you know, and they may do a pop smear, and they, you, you understand. But let them detail, let them do a detail. So if you know of things that are going on in you, let them check that, you understand. So I had less than two weeks to live. I was a third stage cancer. And, and and there's no way to say even, they, they, they couldn't save it. They couldn't save it. So when I was home and all these clots were falling out and you know, it was, the ambulance had to come and get me. So it was a roadblock. They had, I don't know how they do it, but they stopped traffic to get me to the hospital. When I get to the hospital, they, um, they take me down, um, they take me into some place. They take me for some scan or something. And by the time I get back to the room and they were taking me off the bed to put me into onto the, the other bed, it was another stretcher. And, and my mom, well, I was about to go eat and my mom said, what's this for? They said, we gotta go now. So whatever the test was that, that, that they got back, they said, we got to go now. And they rushed me right into surgery. So people who was coming to the hospital to see me, by the time they get there, I was already in surgery. That's how bad it was. And thanks be to God, I survived that. A couple of years of that, after that, I, 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 um, I have the tubal cancer, you know, um, and that is the tube that takes the blood from the body to the heart. And again, I survived that. So once you have cancer the first time, whether it be first, second, or third stage, when you, when you have a reoccurrence, it is referred to as fourth stage cancer. You understand? So in, and I did that and, and, you know, God came through for me. Because you see, the first time when I had it, I said to him, when I come in from the doctor office, I said, God, this is your problem, not mine. Can you see God has sent me here to do a job? And I don't believe my work is done. My work is not yet done. And I will continue to work. I will continue to fight and with everything in me because cancer will not define my, no, it will not define me. I'm going to continue to work and I'm going to live until the day I die. Yeah. I'm going to live, I'm, I'm living for today, but I plan for tomorrow, but I'll live until the day I die. Yes. So coming back in 2017, another reoccurrence, this time it's in my lungs. And they said that um, there were two nodules and they asked me about symptoms. I didn't have anything, but anyways, we did the surgery, they cut out a pie of my, my, my lungs. And when they went in, they couldn't find the, uh, the smaller one because there were two. And so from that, um, they, um, 
they continued to monitor me and monitor me three months every three months until okay they went to the six months and then two years ago now um they they they, they found out i'm a winner yes i'm a child of god and um i i i went um they said that the 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 the, the small one that they couldn't find has now starting to grow so they take me off the six months and and not only that it's starting to grow it bring one baby with it you understand so now there are two of them and then they take me from the six months checkup back to three months so every three months now i have to keep going to the princess margaret hospital so last week when i went so they, they said that one that was two centimeter has now in the past four months because everything was fine as you guys know i was tell y'all has now grown a centimeter and this is where it all started so for marcia to come out and tell you guys now that i have my cancer has returned god forbid and it's throat cancer god forbid i rebuke it in the name of jesus Every cancer cell is burned out of me in the name of Jesus. So if it is dear, that is it. That's his problem. That is what God, man said. But God have the last report. You understand? I'm not going to let it define me. I will not let it bring me down. And Marcia, if you think that you are going to come out and be the person that you are, no you can't bring me down my sister but i'm here to encourage you instead that you will change your ways and like i said i put a flyer out there and this is what marcia you need to do take your platform because i believe i don't know but i know you have probably over ten thousand followers on you so you have a good platform change it around change it around for good